guys, what's up? My name is Gabby and welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing two super cute Valentine's Day DIYs that would be a perfect gift for anyone. I'm also doing a giveaway just to thank you all for all of the love and support I have been getting on this channel. If you want to learn how you can win this super cute gift basket, definitely be sure to stick around to the end of this video. If you decide to do any of the projects in this DIY, be sure to share it with me. I would love to see it. I actually started a new Instagram page called GC Home Decor and on there you'll find all things home decor, DIY, and everything else in between. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Now, without further ado, let's get on with the video. So for this first DIY, I'm going to be making these super cute decorative Valentine's Day doormats. The first thing you're going to need is a doormat. I picked this up from Ikea. I'm going to be making heart stencils using my Cricut Joy. So I'm just gonna use this poster board that I had cut down to the size of my Cricut mat, and I'm just gonna have my Cricut cut out all of my stencils. I actually have a video where I made stencils without a Cricut, so I'll definitely link it up in the cards and also down below. Using the Cricut definitely makes this project a lot easier and a lot faster, so I highly recommend it. I don't go too into depth as to how I made these stencils, so if you want a video on my review of the Cricut Joy and some cool projects that you can do with it, definitely let me know in the comments below. So after making about 12 of these stencils, I'm gonna go in and place them on my doormat. I'm using a ruler to evenly place my stencils and I'm using some duct tape just to tape it down and make sure that it doesn't move. This is really important for when you paint it um, just because it's going to keep your lines very crisp and clean. once you have everything taped down and where you want it to go it's time to paint I'm using these two paints that I picked up from Walmart the first one is this red color and the second one is this pink color as for brushes I find that the best brushes to use for painting doormats are ones that have a squared off edge and that are very hard and stiff just because it's going to make it a lot easier to dab the paint on to a mat So once your doormat is completely painted and dried, you can peel off the stencil and you have a beautifully decorated Valentine's Day doormat. This doormat is perfect for decorating your place for Valentine's Day and I love how it came out. So for this next DIY, I'm going to show you all how to make these beautiful wax brittle melts. If you don't know what a wax melt is, it's basically a wickless scented piece of wax that you melt inside of a warmer. I personally like the ceramic warmers. I think that they're a lot more aesthetic. <laughs> I think that this would be a perfect gift set to give someone for Valentine's Day. So the first step to making these wax brittles is to melt your wax. I'm using this non-scented pillar candle that I picked up from Ikea. I'm just going to stick it in a double broiler and boil it until it completely melts. So once your wax is completely melted, you can give it a few minutes just to cool down a bit. While it's cooling down, I'm grabbing this baking sheet and lining it with some aluminum foil. All right, so now that my wax is cooled and my baking sheet is ready, I'm going to add some fragrance to my wax. I'm going in with this peppermint oil that I use for my diffuser, and I'm going in with two spoons of it. Honestly, if I could do it again, I would definitely put in an extra spoon or two. I'm also going to add some coloring to my wax just to give it a pretty pink tint. So once you have your fragrance and color in your wax, you can go ahead and pour it into your lined baking sheet. 
and then I'm actually going in and adding these pretty flowers just to give it a more decorative touch. And I'm gonna let that sit for just a few minutes just so that the wax can dry just a little bit before adding these baby's breath. So once your wax is completely dry, which really doesn't take very long at all, you can go ahead and break it up. I think it would be such a great idea to use a cookie cutter to cut these out into cute heart shapes or even pouring these into molds. I think wax melts are a perfect gift to give to anyone, especially if you give it in a kit, which leads me to the next portion of this video. So as a big thank you for all of your love and support, I want to do a giveaway. So for this giveaway, I'm going to be giving away a super cute wax warmer gift set, which includes this ceramic wax warmer, as well as some of the wax brittles I made in this video, and some tea light candles, that way you can make your house smell delicious. So to enter into this giveaway, it's super easy. All you have to do is be subscribed to this channel and leave a comment down below. In your comment, be sure to leave your Instagram or your email if you don't have an Instagram. That way I can reach out to you if you win. This giveaway closes on February 13th and I will be announcing the winner on February 14th over on my Instagram page. That was my video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to leave it a big thumbs up. Be sure to share your projects with me over on Instagram. Again, my new handle is at GC Home Decor. So definitely be sure to share your projects as well as follow because I would truly appreciate it. Happy Valentine's Day and see you guys on the next video. Bye. <laughs>